Welcome to another Tech Hard Pro video. It will be mostly talking about something that happened with my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It started happening in basically since December, but I didn't take much mind to it until by January that something even worse has happened. So by December, I have been using my phone normally, so no issues, just normal usage, until one day the fingerprint scanner started being very strange. So sometimes it would read my finger properly, sometimes it wouldn't. So I was like, ah, but maybe maybe it's just because it's ultrasonic and or my fingers is wet or maybe the phone doesn't isn't the software something. I thought it was something else rather than the hardware itself failing. So it was fine. No, I didn't have much issues. Time passes and the fingerprint scanner kept getting worse and worse until the point where it wouldn't even unlock the phone anymore. So I had to see, okay, maybe let me set up my fingers again. Maybe it's the screen protector that I removed. Who knows? So I went to reset it and they didn't got reset it. Will not work at all. It will appear that, oh, the scanner is not working properly. Try again later or something. So I was thinking of sending it to repair later, like maybe by February, January, because I didn't have a backup phone. The S6 Active that you saw in the video and the A21, those two were sold. I sold those phones to buy something else. So by January, something even worse has happened. I was sleeping. The phone was turned on normally. So I slept. Next day, the phone is just, is, is just not even going to turn on, not, not, not at all. Last time the battery was at 20%, so I thought it would be fine for the night, but no. Or it doesn't, doesn't seem to, because now it wouldn't even charge, it wouldn't even vibrate, absolutely no response, the phone has just died. It got bricked. So that's where I, was, I decided to send it uh, for service center. Usually I will fix it myself, but since the phone is still in warranty, it will be better to send it for repair since it will be uh, original parts and it will be very legitimate, it will still have water resistance, so I went and sent it to repair. I waited two weeks after that, I got the phone back and they replaced not only the fingerprint scanner, it doesn't seem like the fingerprint scanner is easy to replace to begin with because they replaced the screen, frame, battery. For some reason to replace the battery. Then they replaced the cable that connects the motherboard to the daughterboard. The one that is on the middle. Then they replaced the motherboard because it was bricked. So it wouldn't turn on, so it makes sense. Basically, they gave me a new phone. Basically. I mean, the phone is still the same. I know that the back uh, back plate is not replaced. The back glass, including the camera frame, that's not replaced because it still has the same little scratches that I left there. So it was very strange. But also there's another little detail that I noticed. It may not affect the camera quality, but there's some dirt on the, on the cameras, mainly on the main and ultra wide, especially the ultra wide. But I don't think it will affect much of the quality because i taken some pictures and they do not look any different from normal photos that I used to take. So that was a very strange uh, experience. And no, this is not the first time I sent the phone for repair. Uh, but Well, this specific phone, the Note 20 Ultra, yes, it's the first one. First time, yes. But this is not the first time I went there. I went there for uh, for the Galaxy Note 9 that I had. I also had issues with that phone that it got bricked. Well, not bricked, but it kept restarting, basically. And the, the software was getting very glitchy because I don't know what happened. But it just out of nowhere started like making things disappear. So I had to also send it to repair and they replaced the motherboard fingerprint scanner of the phone. But this one is the most expensive repair. It's just that since it was in warranty, I didn't have to pay for anything. But if I had to, it would be pretty expensive because we're talking about the screen, battery, 
it's just basically the entire phone. So that's very interesting. Even the motherboard, like imagine. So that's about it for today, and thank you for listening to the video. I don't know what to put on the screen, maybe a little bit of the phone being shown, but that's about it.